I'm Dr. Chirantika Vitana, Consultant Community Physician, National Program Manager, Adolescent and Youth Health Unit, Family Health Bureau, Ministry of Health. Today we are starting the session 2 of the workshop on Adolescent and Youth Health. We will see physical, psychological, social well-being of young person. Uh, we will cover the details about the puberty and related issues. Objectives of today's sessions are to describe the physical, psychological and behavioral changes that are occurring in the adolescent. Identify the components of conceptual framework. There is a conceptual framework for adolescent. What is it? And describe the social determinants. We have heard about social determinants. What are the social determinants of adolescent hair? And identify the protective and respecters for adolescent hair. Basic concept are physical, psychological, behavioral changes, conceptual framework of adolescent hair, social determinants, risk and protective factors for adolescent hair. What is the difference between adolescent and adult? So we have discussed earlier in the Shakespeare's William, William Shakespeare's Winter Tales, he says there's no if there is no age between 10 and 23, it would be better if they are having age between 10 and 23, they are wrong in industry, getting pregnant, stealing, fighting. So, in that time also, uh, in past, our ancestors realized that adolescents are different. So, we are also telling adolescents are not like that. They don't listen to us. And they don't care for adults, like lot of things. We have discussed why it is. So, why they are not mature may, and why they are behaving like this, we have identified two reasons. One is their brain maturation is not optimum. Their main maturation will be achieved somewhere in mid-twenties. So, other season is they are facing lot of hormonal changes that will make them uh, go for risky behaviors and getting feelings, but they don't have impulse control. So, we will see these green color things are unmature areas, matured areas are blue. When you come to five years, you have adult volume of brain, uh, nearly adult. And uh, in adolescent also brain volume is like adult, but brain maturation is only completed in 20 years, the blue area. Last most to mature in brain is prefrontal cortex. What is the use of prefrontal cortex? To see the root causes, uh, to see what is good, to do planning, Think rationally, decision making, everything is handled by prefrontal cortex. So, prefrontal cortex is still not mature enough till 24 or 25. So, this is one reason why adolescents are different. Other thing is hormonal changes, sex hormones, gonadotropin releasing hormone, follicular stimulated hormone, luteinizing hormone. Uh, estrogen, testosterone that is uh, causing secondary sexual characteristic, growth hormone, thyroid hormone, androgen, adrenal androgens, prolactin in girls, all these hormones are uh, secreting in increased prioritis. So, these hormone changes as well as brain not developed are the root causes for their behaviors. So, we will discuss what are the physical, psychological and behavioral changes in puberty actually. Puberty is a transition period where uh, they transit from childhood to adulthood. Changes occur in during pregnancy. They increase in growth. Growth spurt is their rapid increase in growth that is happening two years earlier in girls. Girls are more mature at same age, then same age boys in 12, 10, 12 ages. Secondary sexual characteristics are appearing, they become fertile, 
psychological changes are going parallel. Uh, see, what are the biological effects of puberty? So we see because of these changes, behavior changes, emotional well-being, health, uh, changes in behavior and emotions are due to mainly oxytocin in female suppressing in males that is from evidence and other changes due to estrogen and progesterone. What are the physical changes in adolescent we will see? What are the emotional and psychological changes in adolescent? What are the social changes in adolescent? As a category of workers or officers working with adolescent and providing them the services, we should know what are these changes? Because for they, us, it may be a minor thing, but for adolescents, that may be an issue. Even normal things, they will think they are having a problem, but they don't like to come to our services. So, biological changes are like this. We will compare pubertal changes, physical development in females and males. Female growth spurt occur 10 to 12 years. It sees about 17, 19 years. Boys, this spurt is happening 2 years later, 12 to 14 years. It stops around 20 years. They both gain weight. Development of breast starts at 12 to 18 years. It goes up to 18 years. These are average uh, periods. Let me change. Testicles and scrotum start to enlarge around 9 years, followed by lengthening of penis, and adult sizes are achieved by 17 and 18 years. That is changes in voice. And in addition to that, there is different change in voice in boys. Female pubic hair, armpit hair, leg hair start to grow at 9 to 10 years and reach adult pattern by 13 to 14 years. Same thing happening in boys. In addition, they are getting facial hair. They start a bit later, 12 years, and reach up to adult pattern by 17 to 18 years. Menarche, that is perspiration, generally occur two years after early breast changes. One first thing start is uh, uh, most of the time early breast changes. They may differ. Then appearance of pubic hair, then menarche, first menstrual period. So usually society identify puberty with the development of breast and menarche in girls. What about boys? It is identified from enlargement of testes and nocturnal emission. That means uh, em emission of sperm while they are sleeping. Uh, what is menarche? This is men first menstrual cycle, as you all know. It's regular change occurs in uterus and ovaries that make uh, pregnancy for possible. If they, if ovum is released and it meets with sperm, the pregnancy is possible. Menstruation occurs due to shedding of endometrium in case pregnancy didn't occur. The growth, height and weight increase. Uh, Almost 50% of adults weight is gained during this period, adolescent. Uh, bone density also increased. Uh, this is promoted by estrogen and androgens. Closer of epiphysis of the bones are occurring. This is promoted by estrogen. Changes in pace and bone structures are happening. This is the growth related changes and height also increase in adolescent girls height increase are from up to up to actually up to 25 centimeters from their previous height boys it is up to 28 centimeters these are rough figures actually now we will see what are the cognitive development happening why it is important that we should know the cognitive development because the reasons for their behavior, their decision making, why we should improve their life skills are because of this pattern of cognitive development. You see the picture of a neuron. You all are familiar. Uh, bottom picture is the connection between two neurons. So that is the electrical neural transmission is happening. The messages are coming. Brain consists of lot of neurons. They are electrical 
electrically excitable. See from the arrow that dendrites, filaments, which are branches like a branches of tree that brings the message to cell body of the neuron. Axon, this long one, it is covered by a white sheet that is called myelination. Myelination facilitate the electrical transmission happening, it accelerated. Uh, gray matter, brain is having white matter and gray matter. Gray matter, we find neural cell bodies, that is the main part of the cell, axon terminals and dendrite terminals, uh, dendrite parts, as well as nerve synapses. Synapses are connections. White matter is having bundle of axons. They are called myelinated, they are usually myelinated. Uh, so, Adolescent brain development, we should understand very well what is adolescent brain development. Pubertal hormones are um, acting on this procedure. Overproduction of gray matter takes place with rapid increase of connection between brain cells in late childhood, that, that means uh, early adolescent. These connections among neurons are not if some connections are not used much, they atrophy, while the connections used are strength. This process is called pruning. We use it or lose it. Actually, this is very important where we will have to develop our brain development. It begins from the back of the brain, proceed forward, last part to uh, develop is prefrontal cortex where we take rational decision making as adolescent, not uh, adolescent, adults. So, adolescents are lacking it. So, these are the uh, red colored area is prefrontal cortex. Uh, you can see the areas of brain and you might have heard about limbic system. In adolescence, limbic system is very well developed. Prefrontal cortex where we should use for decision making is still under construction. So, adolescent depend on decision making on this limbic system. Limbic system is well developed in them. Uh, limbic system include hypothalamus, hippocampus, amygdala and several other nearby areas. Limbic system is actually responsible for pressure shaking reward processing, emotional responses, they get aggression, impulses, sleep regulation, uh, emotions can lead to impulsive behavior, but uh, their prefrontal cortex is not developed, they do not have break, there is no place to decide now you stop this. So, that is why they go for risky behaviors. This explains very well that adolescent behavior and impulsive action. So, actually we must help adolescent to develop these capacities. Those who exercise the brain by learning to order their thought, understand abstract concept, control their impulses. So, we have as adults we should guide them for this. They are laying neural foundation that will serve for entire life within this period. All about changes are essential for the development of coordinated thought, action and behavior. So, we have to help them uh, to develop their decision making capacities, planning capacities, we have to give opportunities for them. So, what is abstract thinking and concrete thinking? That is the concept. Concrete thinking is we see the superficial thing and take the decisions. That is what is happening in early adolescent. Abstract thinking is you might have heard about the abstract maths and all. It is also referred as non-verbal reasoning, visual reasoning, abstract math reasoning. These are the meaning. It refers that one's skill to draw inferences. Uh, considering the reasons, root causes, what is, why this is happening and analyze the information, take uh, involving object, images, spaces, numbers and going for decision, this abstract thinking is necessary. Abstract reasoning, analyze the situation logically, cause and effect rate, entertain hypothetical scenarios, if this is done, this will happen like that, 
uh, developing hypotheses and to be able to generalize in one instance generalize to other instance. Use symbols imaginatively and also consider about their future assess alternatives and personal goals for that abstract thinking is necessary. When they are getting all they we have to guide them to develop abstract thinking and uh, that component should be developed. Cognitive competence we will t discuss as a summary. It is reasoning effectively, problem solving, abstract thinking what we have explained, ability to reflect and see the past experiences and reflect, planning for future. So you see the causes, what will happen if we do this, we see the alternatives and uh, like that. Moral development is another important component within this period. Development of appreciation of values and go for decent behavior. Cognitive development in part lays foundation for moral uh, rationalization. If cognitive development is well, moral, moral development is facilitators. That include honesty, pro-social behavior such as helping others, volunteering, caring for others, these are moral values. Adults are expected to facilitate this. As adult, uh, adult parents, teachers and uh, all adults should be role models. If we are doing wrong things, adolescents also are identified as the correct thing. Now we will discuss about emotional development. In today's world, it is very much necessary. So, what is emotional development? Emotional development in establishing genuine and rational sense of identity in context to relating others. Learning to cope with the stress and managing emotions. So, establishing genuine rational sense of identity in context of relating to others. Learning to cope and managing emotions. That is emotional development. Social development, they have to interact with the community. So, what are the social development? So, they are end of the adolescent is characteristic by social role transition. Uh, they go in the past, in hunter's age, uh, if a girl become men, attain menarche, next year she will be pregnant, she will be married and have a child. So, adolescent age is very much limited. Now, today, after menarche, they do education, they do upper higher education and uh, it will take 10 to 14 years for them to become adult, marry, employ and uh, do childbearing. So, several needs exist for this period. In This is what I have explained. Pu currently, puberty is occurring at an early age. Why? Then past, because childhood hygiene, nutrition and health are comparatively good today and extension for education and employment lead to prolonged adolescent of pubertal period. But there are needs for care, development and everything. In social development, building relationship and peer application we have to discuss. Building relationships with family, peers, school, work, community are important. Peer they try to escape from the parents. They think the parents are restricting them too much. They don't know. We are the people who know. And more freedom and company of peers. They like to be with peers. Difficult to resist peer pressure. If peers are asking you to take drugs, go for unsafe sexual behaviors. They try it because they, even though they don't want, they have, have less ability to resist. That is why we should develop life skills of how to say no for adolescent. So, family has a strong role, influence. So, family should communicate more with the adolescent, see, be closer to them within this period and uh, work with them. Now, media, social media, everything is there. Exposure is increased. 
they are electronic media electronic appliances are there now over this online activities are going there this have positive effect as well as many negative effect if they use it uh, uh, improperly or uh, social interactions will be limited to this media now we will come to behavior change almost all adolescents she show some behavior change they are self conscious feeling uneasy anxious about changes they are maybe they will compare their breast development testis development with friends and they think they are not normal like that uh, they, they have several issues getting closer to peer is one thing argues for sake of arguing they, without any reason they try to argue with adult constantly finding fault with adult uh, being over dramatic sometimes jumping into conclusion making wrong decisions all these are there within this adolescent period actually it in early adolescent peer groups becoming a safe space safe refuge for them they like to be with peers early adolescent these peer relationships are non romantic friendships members of the fear group often try to behave in a same way that is what is there in mid adolescent and they are after romantic relationships also start late adolescent they try to establish sexual identity and express and respond to sexual advances this is like how they uh, react with relate with uh, peers now we will move on to the stages of adolescence so we have discussed lot of things about adolescence uh, this may be some sort of summary in clear language uh, so we will do a group work what are the changes occurring in adolescence during depending on 10 to 15 15 to 17 and 17 to 19 growth of body early adolescent mid adolescent and late adolescent secondary sexual characteristics appear rapid growth reaches peak in early adolescent mid adolescent secondary sexual characteristics advance growth slows down has reached approximately 95% of the adult uh, growth physically mature in late adolescent growth of brain occurring it in three phases in mid adolescent influence on social and problem solving skills occur cognition in early adolescent they concentrate on that they, they are thinking is concrete they see only superficially they don't understand how present action will carry on to future in mid adolescent thinking can be become more abstract they think of the reason consequences and take the decision but if they are stressed they will take superficial decision and go into concrete thinking uh, better understand their own actions but they are self absorbed in late adolescent most thinking is now abstract they read the reason consequences they plan for future understand the choices and decision now can affect on their future the states of adolescent development we will discuss on psychological and social changes they spent early adolescent they spend more time thinking about physical changes and growth self image uh, how others see them they are worried about them frequent changes in mood happens in mid adolescent create their own body image think a lot about it they have think about impractical or impossible dreams they are having feel very powerful experiment sex drugs trends and risk in late adolescence they have much more ability they plan follows long term goals usually comfortable with their own body image they don't think much about it understand right from wrong morally and ethically so they are bit developed uh, relation with the family in early adolescence struggles with the rules and regulation 
want to become independent argues and is subdued in middle adolescent argues with people with more authority than early adolescent now in late adolescent they move in from child to parent relationship to adult to adult relationship they do better uh, relate with adults and peer, we, uh, we will see how they interact with peer groups uh, in early adolescent important to their development that peer group is very important intense friendship with same sex interact with opposite sex when they are in group in mid adolescent strong peer relation friendships occur peer group most important and determine how they behave in late adolescent decisions and values have influenced by peers uh, as uh, but uh, they like individual friendships selection of partner based on individual choice rather than group choice sexuality sexual exploration and evaluation is starting from early adolescent form stable relationships in mid adolescent mutual balanced sexual relationships uh, starts with late adolescent now we will see social determinants of health you might have heard about social determinants theory where what are the social determinants of health factors that contribute to person's current state of health there are several factors uh, they may be biological factors socio economical psychosocial behavior Factors, social factors social factors lot of factors may be uh, contributing persons current state of health that mean physical as well as mental health five uh, determinants of health in population are identified biology and genetics individual behavior social environment physical environment and health services and also health and well being so this is a diagrammatic presentation of social determinants uh, it include health and health care social and community context education economic stability and uh, neighborhood built in environment so uh, we do a group activity what are the factors that influence adolescent health and well being there are risk and protective factors in addition to social determinants what are these risk factors factors that increase the likelihood of adverse outcomes if you are look if the adolescent is abused by adult at home that is a risk factor protective factors that that mediate or moderate the exposure to risk they reduce the risk and directly protect from adverse event if grandparents are looking taking care of the child very well adolescent then this is a protective factor now we will move on to what is so called conceptual framework if you have read, read uh, lancet articles and those you will might have found this word so uh, can anybody describe conceptual framework in adolescent what is a conceptual framework it is actually what is the meaning of it sir theoretical structure with assumptions principles rules all together the idea comprising of a broad concept is goes for a uh, broad concept it has assumptions theoretical structure it has basic structure around the idea around this basic structure idea is formulated or built in now we will discuss about conceptual framework for adolescent it has two axes life cycle approach and societal approach so if baby is healthy within uterus if mother is healthy within pre conceptual period early childhood period will be healthy in early childhood period if they get good stimulation nutrition protection sanitation and all they will be healthy in adolescent that is one of the causes to life cycle that makes adolescent healthy if adolescents are healthy they will be healthy during adulthood and elderly period 
So this is the life cycle approach. This conceptual framework has horizontal axis of life cycle approach. In addition to that, so several social determinants and risk and protective factors are operating on adolescent in adolescent period. That is life uh, vertical axis. Uh, this horizontal axis and vertical axis operating on adolescent that means life cycle approach and social determinant uh, determine how he their health status are and health related behaviors are and ultimately their uh, health outcomes that means health outcomes in adolescent. So, on top of that setting scope of health policies, preventive care, health care services may affect adolescent health. This is the main conceptual framework to axes uh, horizontal, vertical, horizontal one uh, reflects the life's cause perspective where adolescent is important. Biological aspects of the development in continuum of life beginning from birth and ending in elderly period going on to adulthood and ending in elderly period. Vertical axis it is horizontal, vertical axis is social context uh, representing in this blue box social determinants of health. Uh, and they, what are the social determinants here? Conditions in which people are born, live and grow, work and age. These are the uh, conditions where they are born, grow, live, educate, work and become old. And there are distal determinants like national wealth, education, health, proximal uh, determinants are the risk and protective factors we have discussed. The grandparents are looking after the adolescent, so they get protective factors. If somebody is abusing adolescent, that is risk factor. Like that social determinants consist proximal determinants and distal determinants that will lead to health related behaviors, this horizontal and uh, vertical axes. Uh, what are the health related behaviors? They are the behaviors that is the status that negatively or positively affect the adolescent. Uh, social determinants and biological changes interact result in this health related behaviors and change status. This lead to adolescent health outcome. This is the conceptual work of adolescent. So adolescent we have to manage holistically not only just looking at the complaint. So uh, what are the problems that adolescent will have due to not knowing the changes in puberty. So you ask from, uh, ask from each other and identify how they should help adolescent in such issues. So health conditions in uh, there, what are the changes happening in puberty? What are the health issues that pubertal girls will have during this period? They may be overweight, underweight, anemia is there, acne, they have problems. They are more concerned about their appearance. I mean, some may have issues, they think they get menarche early, they will compare with their peers and they think it is delayed. Uh, poor menstrual hygiene, if they don't have proper hygiene regarding menstruation. Pain in menstruation, that is dysmenorrhea. Increased bleeding in menstruation, menorrhagia. Sometimes the menstruation is not regular in this period. Put taboos will be there within the menstrual period. Now we will discuss about health conditions in puberty among boys. They have issues regarding this. One thing is emission or ejaculation. They will uh, uh, ejaculate the sperm. Some may do have nocturnal emissions while they are sleeping. Others may not have, but they will sometimes compare with others. Both having or not having are normal. Uh, masturbation may be a uh, concern among them. Risk behaviors, they go for risk behaviors more uh, within this period. Inability to recognize hidden threats. They are prefrontal cortex is not developed, so they are uh, uh, risk. They go for risk behaviors. Boys usually lack coping skills. 
and they are preoccupied with their body image, uh, then these are some things to treat further. Healthy pubertal changes, transition from childhood to adolescent is necessary for a better world. So we take, we will work together to get the, give them a better puberty and help them in need. Thank you, Spain.